want you anymore. I said, no. No way. No. 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 He's in my bones. I can't rid him from my bones. Paul? Paul, I'm about to get my face eaten off by Bass Salt Betty and you snub me? I need you. Calling you again. Stop calling. Good morning, and Jason. how are you today? Nice patch. Quit it. I know, you're tired. I haven't had more than five hours sleep since the book came out because of this eye infection. And this is my fault? No, but the plague of texts and phone calls about this new random guy isn't helping. What's next, sending in locusts? Come on, you write about love. And I need an expert. He's a boat captain, and I told him that I know about the sea. Really? And what exactly do you know about the sea? Where to drop my anchor? Holla! Just sit. I don't want to hear another word from you until I get up. Said I couldn't say a word, but I could sing one. One bit, two bits, three bits a dime. Four bits, five bits, six bits a plenty. Damn it, Jason! What? You don't stop. Well, how are you supposed to help me if you're sleeping? I helped you when Alex left. Do you wash your face with the same bar of soap you scrub your butt with? Maybe that's why your eye's infected. You know, I think about stuff like that, the whole concept. I mean, it saves time, but there should be some kind of restriction. Different categories for different soaps. You just don't shove a bar of lemon verbena up your butt. It's better than that. I'm reading your book. And? I get why people buy it. They see this glossy cover. And even if the content sucks, they know what awaits them. The hope that love exists somewhere in the pages. $9.95 guaranteed. You've got to give them hope. So I've been thinking, now hear me out. I can't leave you alone for five minutes. This is the only eye patch I have. 
It's not an art project. But it's edgy, and most writers like to be edgy. Now, can we get back to my plan? This is ridiculous. Just call him and ask him out. It's not quite that easy. See, we're in this weird space because I kind of sort of grabbed his dick on the dance floor last night, and I couldn't let go. Of course not. So this is do or die time, and I need to know that I am not a whore. Then don't grab his dick. But I want him to see hope in me. By kind of sort of faking a persona. By creating the perfect cover. Starting by raiding your closet. He is not answering my text. We're gonna have to go down there. Where? To the captain's apartment or whatever. I googled his address. How's this? It's Alex's. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, he's not coming back. Are you sure? I could leave it. I know you always liked wearing this one. I'm gonna need a scarf. These shoes should work. That's what boaters wear, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna need to learn some boating terms, too. You know, get my sea legs. Maybe read Moby Dick or something. Oh, for some guy who groped on the dance floor. I like him. That's it, that's it, right there. Now pull in and try and hide the car. I do not know why I enable you. Would you rather set a home all day dwelling? I can't believe you still have his clothes in that closet. I need you to be more supportive. You look like a mime. I am a sea wench, I parked a freaking car. What now? He's still not answering. He sleeps weird hours, ships times, whatever. We're gonna have to wake him. How? That's his car. We set off the alarm. Um, how about we just knock on the front door? Too desperate. Jace? We passed desperate two miles ago. Wait here. Now what? Now what? How about you stop saying now what? I didn't think that far ahead, okay? The alarm's still going off. Maybe he's not home. Really, Jason? Really? Just drive! Just drive! All right, all right. Plan B, plan B, no, no, no. Plan C, home. Stop, he'll meet us there, I promise. Why on earth would he? Because I have his credit card. I wasn't just groping for wood last night on the dance floor. Plastic, baby, plastic. Are you kidding me? So I go for what I want. What's wrong with that? I'm not just sitting around waiting for some guy to make a move. I've been feeling alone for too long. You should take a note. I've been feeling alone too long. How do you go from years of being in love to a one night grope session on the dance floor? You gotta move on, clear your head, clean the slate, find somebody new. It's not that easy. The thing that cleans your head doesn't always clean your heart. It's him, he'll meet us at the bar. So are you going in? I've been thinking about what you said, about starting over, and I don't know that I want to put the work in either. Get tangled in something that I might not be able to get out of. It's scary, you know? Are you kidding me? We drove all the way here, I put up with all your shit, and now you're backing out? Just give me that. Put in a good word. 